Hey everybody, and welcome to another The Animation Base tutorial. So, today we are going to be making a 3D block. So, let's go ahead and get started. I uh, am using AS3. So, click your box, make a rectangle. Um, I'm going to change the uh, width and height to 150 to make it easier when we are making it 3D. Place that somewhere in, around the middle. Um, I'm also going to go to my color and change it to a linear. And change it to a kind of dark bluey color. Something maybe a little bit lighter for this. Okay. And I'm gonna free transform and rotate it. So actually put it above the bottom. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to right click the uh, box, have no uh, no stroke for it, and convert to symbol, and let's call this square. Make sure that it's a movie clip. Once uh, that is a movie clip, you want to right click again and put that into another movie clip, the square movie clip. So we're going to call it 3D box. And once again, make sure that it's a movie clip and click OK. And we'll change the layer to 3D box. Now you want to double click on your symbol so that you see scene one and then 3D box, which uh, will verify to you that you are inside the 3D box. Now you want to left click on the box and you want to right click and copy. Or if you're on Mac, Command C, or in Windows, Control C. So now you want to make three more layers above the layer one and let's name these top bottom left and right and on every frame you want to right click for every layer from first frame you want to right click and paste in place now you want to left click select all the first keyframes and create motion queen. Now, uh, hide the uh, bottom left and right, and so you can just work with the top. Click on it, click the 3D rotation tool, hold down shift, move your mouse or uh, cursor over the red line, which is the X, and drag it down to 90 degrees. Go to Motion Editor, and on the um, on the uh, Y axis, make it zero. Now you want to go out and do the bottom. So show it. Click the bottom. You want to rotate it again, 90 degrees. Go to the Motion Editor. Click on Y and put in. 150. Go back to the timeline, show the left, and <clears throat> now hold down shift, and now you want to hover your mouse over the green line and go to 90 degrees. Then you want to go to motion editor and put in 0 for X. Go back to the timeline, show, do the exact same thing. Hold down shift, y axis, 90 degrees, go to motion, go to the um, y and put in, or not the y when I'm talking about, the x and put in 150. Okay, so now go back to your timeline. Um, before we animate or do anything like that, go to your bottom, uh, bottom side and in the property in the filters you want to add a filter quick drop shadow put the distance to zero put the blur to 100 for both and put it on high quality and also let's pump up the strength just a tiny bit something like that okay now once you have that done go back to scene one 
put on around well any frame will do but we'll do uh we'll do 70 and put insert frame somewhere in the middle of the span right click and create motion tween now on that last frame right here frame 70 you want to come down here click on the 3 3d transform tool or um, 3d rotation you want to hold down shift and on the y axis just move it a bit and then go to the motion editor go down and rotation y set that to 360 degrees go back to your timeline and control test movie and as you can see you now have a 3d rotating box um, in the uh, next tutorials I'll show you how to create a, a whole 3d character and um, so if you have any questions be sure to comment and subscribe thanks